for his decisions over our life. We must learn to appreciate God consigning the decisions he makes over our lives. Sometimes the decision God makes over our life might not be pleasant to you because the flesh is in enmity with the spirit. The fleshly man is in enmity with God. So most of the time, most of the decisions God makes concerning us may not be pleasant to us, but it's, it is for our betterment. Praise the Lord. God is the all-knowing God and is the all-seeing God and he wants the best for us. We must respect his decisions concerning us. Most especially in the area of placement and positioning. It is important that we are rightly positioned. Because if you are not rightly positioned, if you are not properly positioned, your life will be full of tears. You will go through pains without you knowing the cause. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Abraham was with his kindred. God could not interact with him the way he ought to. God could not take him to the place of victory, to the place of destiny without God removing him from his father's house and placed him and placed him in a position that will cause him to fulfill destiny. Praise the Lord. So please can you take that child out? So the place of your placement and positioning is very important. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 3. Who is there? Where's Pastor Tony? Isaiah chapter 60 verse 3. Are you there? Praise the Lord. Isaiah 61, sorry, 61 verse 3. 61. 61. Praise God. Isaiah 61 verse 3. Yeah. To appoint unto them that morning in the Lord. To give unto them beauty for ashes. Okay. The oil of joy for mourning. Okay. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Okay. That they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. My emphasis is on the planting of the Lord. My emphasis is on what? The planting of the Lord. Are you aware that the farmer will not just plant anywhere he sees? Are you aware of these brothers and sisters? The farmer will not plant anywhere he sees. He will look for the soil that is suitable for his seed or his crop. Am I making his process this evening? Yes, sir. He will look for the land that is suitable for his seed or for his crop. That is how it is with the matter of grace. That is how it is with what? The matter of grace. Erasmus, can you play the guitar? You don't just walk in into a and head into the grace that is functionally perfect for your kind of person or for who you are in Christ. You know, people come to church people come to church on their own so to speak but people don't go anywhere by chance there are things that are divinely orchestrated 
to perfect your life. God is the one that has graced every man. But every man is graced differently. The anointing is different from grace. They might look alike, but they are not the same. The anointing is given for a particular task, for a particular assignment. Why grace is the is the elegant movement? Grace is what moves that tax. Grace is what makes the tax elegant. Grace is what makes the tax beautiful. I'm not disputing the place of the anointing. We function by God's anointing. God's grace makes every tax beautiful. Praise God. Praise the Lord. God knows you better than yourself. Yesterday, while we were having our program, Dreams and Elements, who follows that program every week? If you follow Dreams and Elements, can I see you? If you follow Dreams and Elements, can I see your hand? Let me see your hand. My hands are stretched. Why are others not following Dreams and Elements? You don't have an Android phone. You don't have an Android phone. Eh? What about that is? No data too. Sit down, please. Why don't you follow it? You're not on Facebook. You decided not to be on Facebook. Eh? You never open your account. Why? So what are you? Instagram. You will get a Facebook account today and look for GCLA on Facebook and for this. What about you? I'm not laughing. Your phone is not brass. You're not on Facebook. You are not fully. The reason why I'm saying this thing is that by the middle of next month. I will not entertain any private dream questions. There's a platform open for you. That's the truth. So if you are... And also I will give instruction to my pastors not to entertain any dream for anybody. Yes. If you do that, it's a sign of rebellion. I thought you are going to pray dreams. Because... Instruction is what will make you. Instructions are alive. Let's not debate. So a woman, for the past three weeks, she has been having dreams that are quite similar. Told her they want to attack her child. Told her the reasons, the, the meaning of the dreams and all the rest. Now, for the past three weeks, you've been having the same dreams. And sentiment has not made you to go look for where you will get the solution. A teacher is not a prophet. A prophet is not a prophet. So the teacher has his line of calling. His ordination is different. It is one Holy Ghost that gives you the teaching anointing, the Holy Ghost gives you the, the prophetic anointing, but the administration is different. Now, a lot of people suffer for societal attachments. Oh, my church. In my church, we don't do like this. In my church, my pastor has not taught us this. In my church, my pastor say, my pastor say. That's not what I'm here for tonight. Praise the Lord. Praise God. That's not our what I'm here for tonight. The place of grace is important in your life. Because if you're not 
in the proper place where God has graced you to be, you can be isolated by the devil. And why he isolates you is to hinder you. Is somebody with me this evening? God puts you under a particular grace because he wants to, to he wants you he wants to take you to an expected end. He said, I know the thoughts that I have towards you. He said they are thoughts of good and not of evil, but to take you to an expected end, to a desired end. In this life, nothing moves on its own. Force must be applied. Force must be what? Applied. Can I let me hear this your tune, right? Don't worry, okay? Don't hit the pedal. Force must be applied. No man arrives on any destination without something moving it. Am I making sense? Is there another thing will bring stagnation to you? It can bring delay or it can bring speed. If we decide to go to Asaba, three of us decide to get to Asaba. One is going to use a vehicle. The other is going to use a motorbike. The other is going to use foot. And we move at the same time. Who arrived early? The vehicle. We arrived early, right? Because of what it carries, what makes it a vehicle, and also because of the engine capacity, the speed limit, the speed advantage. The next person that will arrive is the bike, is that not so? Then the leg will arrive late. The vehicle might have gone to us about two and four, like three times. The leg is yet to get to a good zone. I don't know if I'm making sense. For everything to move in life, force must be applied. Positive forces and they are positive supernatural. Every Christian, listen to me, every Christian is bigger than what the devil can offer. But you must come to a place of faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Is somebody with me this evening? Yes, sir. You must come to a place of faith. The grace that you need to make your journey of destiny elegant is hidden in a man. It is hidden in a man. God hides his blessing in man. Because man is a gift to man. Hello. No man was made to be independent. Hello. Somebody say, I'm an independent woman. I don't depend on anybody. Your statement is one-sided. You will say you are not dependent, dependent on a man for what he will offer you. Hello. Some people, their, their dependency on people especially women please i'm not derogating anybody please i'm just making an instance is um, cash in kind materially kind is that not so but truly no man is on an, an island of his own you need a man to move you to your place of destiny that's why we have destiny helpers hello the APC presidential candidate, when the present president has said, You people should go and do your election, I'm not supporting anybody, I'm not putting hand. He started complaining. He said, A eh, video come, and my turn he reach. Barry went, he failed, he failed the first time. Second time, failed, third time, failed. he said, When he came, Buhari was able to win the election twice. And is a statement of fact. So the candidate of President APC now aided the at this president we have in this country to become president. So it is with many of you in this place. You were looking 
for admission. Somebody had to help you. Is that not so? So we are created to be dependent on God. So we don't put our trust in man, but we put our trust in God because he is the one that can help us. The Bible says that by strength shall no man prevail. You cannot prevail by your muscle. Is somebody with me this evening? Hallelujah. Men are sent to man. Man is a gift to man. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15. We will read from the KJV and from the Amplified. Popular scripture. Popular scripture. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. Let me, okay. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Get them amplified. Quickly, Pastor Tony. And I will give you spiritual shepherds after my own heart in the final time. Who will feed you with knowledge and understanding and judgment? He says he will give you spiritual shepherds. If God is going to give us spiritual shepherds, it means that they are spiritual shepherds. And it's not every spiritual shepherd that is attached to your life. And now he says that what will they do? The reason why he's giving us pastors after his own heart, the reason why he's giving us spiritual shepherds after his own heart is for the purpose of nourishment. He says, I will feed, I will feed you with knowledge and understanding. If your spiritual shepherd or your pastor has not been feeding you with the adequate knowledge and understanding, you have not been nourished by him, know that you are not in the right place. It's not by what we prophesy. We don't look for prophecy here because I don't beg to prophesy. God has given it to us. It's not by what we do deliverance. It is about knowledge. So that you can be able to analyze and apply wisdom to your life. So that you can have understanding. Because you are not we are not in without knowledge and understanding. Praise God. Hallelujah. See, the devil knows that God has given you a shepherd or a pastor for your nourishment. He's aware. And he will do everything to isolate you from it. Now, let me tell you something. Let me show you a method in which someone can be isolated. Who watches Nat Joe White? Nat Joe White. This, I'm not looking at good TV. Not Joe White, this um, animal, animal channel documentary. What do they do, animal? Now look at them. Eh? Now maybe I watch them. If you didn't watch them for school, you know, you didn't watch them before. Now, if you watch, listen to me, please. If you watch the animals, you know, there's a food chain. Hello? There's a food chain. Goats will eat grasses. Um, zebras they will eat grasses. Antelope will eat grasses. So they eat grass. In turn, lions, tiger, leopard, bobotibo, we also eat the goats. Is that also a zebra or anything like that? Now, have you seen a place where you have so many zebras or so many antelope? And you see a pack of lions, maybe probably made up of 10, 5 lions, they are coming. They, are you aware that they don't target one among the pack? They hunt. Who is aware? What do they do? They will chase all of them. They will chase all of them together. So everybody will run Esther Skeeter. And they are running Esther Skeeter. See, they cannot catch them or they don't have the ability to kill anyone while they are together because their force can bring them down. So what do they do? They chase the whole pack. They chase the whole group rather. Or hot. They chase them at once. And as they are chasing them, what are they doing? They are looking for the weak ones among them because there must be weak ones there. Is that not so? And what do they do? They will leave the remaining and run after the weak one. It is called isolation. That is how the devil does to Christians. The devil can isolate a Christian just to trap the Christian. 
We are a powerful force put together. So when the devil wants to work on a particular Christian, what he does is to isolate. Once he's able to isolate that Christian from the corporate anointing, that Christian is very vulnerable for attack. I don't think I'm making sense here. That Christian becomes very vulnerable for attack. So before God is saying, I will give you pastors, it means that he has equipped the pastor that he has given to you with the grace that you needed for the victorious Christian life. Your Christian life should be full of testimonies. Your Christian life should be victorious. I'm not saying challenges won't come, but challenges are not meant to what bring you down. They are your springboard to your next level. So God gives you a pastor that can sustain and you know push you up to where you're supposed to be. Praise the Lord. It is important we do not fail to recognize the deceit of the devil. The devil is very deceitful and he will deceive the Christian to any length so that he can achieve his purpose in the life of the Christian. Am I making sense this evening? Blessed be the God of David. Teach him. Blessed be the God of David. He's teaching my hands to work and my fingers to fight. Blessed be the God of David. He's teaching my hands to work and my fingers to fight. For a man to carry grace, 
He must first of all be chosen. Listen, there's a grace for all. Hello. There's a grace for all. The grace I'm talking about is the canopy anointing. The anointing that sustains you. The covering, the spiritual covering over your head. A man needs a spiritual covering over his or her head. You need a father so that you can fly further. You know? So God puts you in a particular grace so that he can help you achieve the course of your life. So he has put the grace of the chosen, the grace that you need to live the vicarious life in Christ Jesus. He has put it on the chosen. But the point at times is that we don't even know who is chosen to us. That's where the challenge is. So today we are going to test Pastor D. Next tomorrow we are testing Pastor Z. The other day we are testing Pastor X. We have become church prostitutes, moving from one church to the other. No. That is not what God wants for you. No, He has called to you. Do I have me? I cannot pastor everybody in Ogwash. That's not true. Hello. I cannot pastor everybody in Ogwash. I don't have that capacity. And no, no pastor has the ability to pastor everybody in Ogwash. That's not so. But look for the grace that is for you. Look for the grace that is for you. Is somebody with me this evening? You don't buy grace. Grace is not what they buy in the market or you get it from school. That's what the Bible says. It says, I've known you before you were formed. Before they formed you in your womb, I have ordained you, I sanctified you, I empowered you. So you don't be a prophet to nations. You don't buy these things as a decree. They don't they read, 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 book, call, read, call, read, call, get grace. You can only have grace for reading. You can have grace to be a professor. But this one that we are talking about, see, it, it is inherent, it's inborn. Before you were born, before they formed you, God gave it to you. I'm very privileged of God. Very, very privileged of God. Most things of pastors are going to cry on the mountains to get. I don't cry that much. I pray. I fast. Pastor Toby can tell you he's with me. He's been with me for some time. I don't, I don't, at times if I want to see vision, I don't pray. I don't need to bend my head and pray. I ask you can be talking and I'll be seeing visions concerning you. That is when I know where people lie. We didn't go to the market to buy it. They don't buy anointing. No native doctor anointed me with their self. You know, Bible says anoint my eyes with eyes that I can see. I was not ordained by a by native doctor. Can I buy this thing? We can't buy the money. In this town, he will tell you in this town. We were walking one day and a native doctor called me. Called me, we were talking and he, he gave me his first son. He said, please. Let this boy become your son as from today. He's of what? Native doctor. That day my cousin was saying, let's go, let's leave there. He was asking, calm down. Why are you in a hurry? He said, no, because people will see that you are here. And so, did I come to you? When I came, did I meet the man? Did we have any business coming here? He has seen the works of God in my life. So he knew that, see, this thing that we have, can be beneficial to his son. He's here, Pastor Tony will tell you his own story. I don't, don't, don't lie. He let him go to. And we'll be here, we'll be seeing clients going to meet him. Then we go with empty bar, come back with black line up. I'll be wondering, I said, Pastor Tony, now, wow. This man will carry the king of people standing to go meet like this. Hallelujah. It is the anointing. If a native doctor can sense the anointing like that, what about you that is sitting under the anointing? What about you that is sitting under the grace? In this town. In this town. What about you? It's not what you will buy. 
Praise God. Praise God. It is the hand of God in a man. It is indescribable, yet very visible in its workings. How can you describe what God is doing in our lives? Can you describe it? Our elder is here. He met this ministry some going to two years now, right? Is it about two years now? Two years out. We met them. Story change. The day I went to pray in his village, they were attacking him and his children. I went to pray in his village. I told him, as I said, I live here, some people will get mad. I said, people that are fighting here will die. Easy. That night, as we left the village, that night, somebody got mad. It was not a three weeks, another person died. People kept dying. If he wants to go to his village, if he said, Pastor, if you don't tell me not to go, I will not go. If you tell me go, I'm okay. It is the grace. He has been able to identify it. He's not being isolated. What it is that the devil will use in isolating you from the grace of the man of God he is offense. Offense. When you begin to see the humanity in a pastor, he will lose his divinity. I tell you. We are men. We are men. I'm a man. Imperfection is found in a man. No man is perfect. We are all getting mastery to become perfect. But we are not perfect. We are not there yet. If we are perfect, we have become the Holy Spirit. Oh, Jesus. So God gives you grace. He gives you a canopy anointing. The devil knows that you have a canopy anointing. He knows there's a name that is representing you. Oh, Jesus. Who knows about the seven sons of Skiba? Who have read their story? Hey, now, wow. You don't read Bible. Hey! Jesus. Ah. Ah. Okay, assignment today. Everybody will go home from today till tomorrow. You will read from Acts chapter 1 this week. Next week, Acts chapter 2. The other week, Acts chapter 3. I will call on you. Involuntarily, I will call on you on Sunday to recite what you have read because we need to give you memory verse like they used to do in children's church because we have said that we are children see nobody say i'm waiting for god's time god's time will not come until you are mature so the seven sons of skiba they saw the apostles they saw apostle paul cast out devils praise the lord though somebody with me so they went to meet a demon seven of them went to meet the demon and they are casting out demons I don't know you. I know Paul. I know Jesus. In whose name have you come? They couldn't answer because everyone don't know them. So what happened to them? The one demoniac, one person, was able to march out several people to all their clothes. One person. One day we were doing deliverance here, my sister. Try to hold one small girl. They get no pass like this. With one kind of hair where they use thread. He not pass like this. Slim. If you see nothing, where the girl not my sister. Match my sister leg. She came back say, brown or chop my leg in pain. Check her leg on a good day. See her size. See the girl's size. Now one hand she could take flip the girl's and also. But there was something in the girl. That was reacting. See, you cannot go to any land and make progress without an altar backing you. What is the altar that is backing you? Because demons will ask questions. There's a shield around you. That shield is the grace of the man that God has given to you. I'm not saying that I'm the one protecting you. I can't protect you. I mean, I need protection, man. It's God that is protecting us. But in this, in this household, in this family, there's a head. 
That's why the work of a father is very difficult. Watch a home where they have a father and all of a sudden the father is no more. You will know that life will be very difficult for the children and the mother. I don't know if I'm making sense. But watch a home where the mother is no more. Even though you will be missing your mother, but your father makes sure that there will be provision. I don't know if I'm making sense. That is how it is with the grace of God upon the man. Is somebody with me this evening? Yes, sir. Are we, are, am I communicating this evening? Yes, sir. I need protection. But in this family, the anointing of God, God upon my head has made me the head. So in this family, there's something protecting everyone. And I'm like the front man, the front man God is using. Bible says that your pastors will give account of your life. It didn't say your father will give you. He said your pastors, your shepherds. Am I making sense this evening? Please, can you concentrate on the message and leave those people that are coming now? It is not man, it's a church. Every morning must come late. Hallelujah. Is somebody with me now? Yes, sir. Oh, glory, glory, glory to the Lord. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Go on. And Aaron 
Pharaoh said unto Moses, Alas, my Lord, I beseech thee, lay not the sin upon us, wherein we have done foolishly, and wherein we have sinned. Let have not be as one dead, with whom the flesh is half consumed, when, we come, when he cometh out of his mother's womb. And Moses cried unto the Lord, saying, Heal her now, O God, I beseech thee. And the Lord said unto Moses, If her father had, had but spit in her face, should she not be ashamed seven days? Let her be shot out from the camp seven days, and after that let her be, let her be received in a game. And Miriam was shot out from the camp seven days, and the people joined not, on, joined not till Miriam was brought in again. And afterwards, the people removed from Hezaroth and pitched in the wilderness of Paran. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Another method the devil can use in isolating you is familiarity. They were too familiar with their anointing. And God was addressing them. If there's any prophet among you, this is my staff and Moses that I know. You only call this thing by what you are up off with it. Are you aware that Moses was the junior among them? Miriam, Moses, and Aaron, their brothers and sisters. Now God said, Don't marry an Ethiopian woman. And, God, and Moses married an Ethiopian woman. You are not in the place to judge a pastor. Let the one that has called the pastor judge him. All those your side talk. Your side talk because of your familiarity. It can bring isolation to you. She was isolated for seven days after the cloud. The cloud of God's presence left them. She became leprous. God did not tell her to become leprous. Are you not aware? The thing fell on her. It means that the power has been following her. If God will open your eyes to see the things that are following you, you'll be more careful in life. That is just a challenge we have. We don't know what is fighting us. If we know what is fighting us, we'll be very careful in life. Familiarity is a method of isolation. That's why some pastors, they feel, not that they feel big, they are trying to prevent you from familiarity. If you and your pastor eat together, does not make you foolish. To become familiar, so familiar with him. If he laughs with you, don't become so familiar. See, one of the reasons why Aaron was not attacked, Aaron had an office. Miriam was a prophetess without an office. Aaron was the one that anoint kings or dead kings are you aware he was the priest why moses was the prophet hello so because of his office he was protected what is protecting him? when you begin to speak against a man of god what is protecting you god can depart oh god am i just here this evening God can depart. Familiarity. Don't be too familiar with the grace. Don't be too familiar. She was taken out of the camp. Whatever you do in this life, learn not to speak against the grace. Another method of isolation is spiritual blindness. People are blind. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 3. He said, If our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that, that are lost. Verse 4. Whom the God of this world, whom the God of this world have blinded their minds, the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of, of Christ. Who is the image of God to shine upon, unto them, rather? For we preach not of ourselves, but Christ Jesus. The Lord and ourselves, your servant for Christ's sake. See, the amazing is I don't like preaching. Because any gospel, listen to me. Any gospel that does not point you to Christ, but point you to self. Is not the gospel of Jesus. So spiritual blindness. Some of you can be here, you are blinded. I got talking on Sunday while I was praying for people here, around here. A young man with a tinted head. I said, stay one place.
place. I was, I told him, I said, Lord, you, you are in wrong abundance. Stay in one place. Stay in one place. Because I was seeing restlessness in his spirit. The other one, we were praying for him on Sunday, on Saturday midnight. I told him, I said, because on his status, I saw them, they are preparing for court activities. You were there now. I said, so you look at what you are doing. You are preparing for court things. Now you are coming to church for me to pray for you because he just started church two weeks ago. So how do you want this prayer to work when you are preparing for court matter? You better get yourself out of that rubbish. Praise the Lord. Amen. Get yourself out of that rubbish. I even told him that this thing you are practicing, I used to practice it as an unbeliever. I was in that court. What are you doing with that thing? Get yourself out of that place, man. Yesterday, the person that his friend that brought him sent me a message. Oh, Pastor, and they were arrested. What was his name? He called his name, arrested him. We need your prayers. I, I, I can't be prayer all. He said, If this gospel be healed, it is healed to them who are blind. You don't believe the weight of the gospel. When it comes to your heart, it, it, when it comes here through the right ear, it goes away to the left one. Some of you this night, you are planning on how you are going to drink alcohol and sleep in the man's house. Some of you are planning to carry women to the hotel. This is what we are talking about. I think they were arrested them. They were arrested them. They are I'm not laughing at them. I can't laugh at them. We must say to be forewarned is to be forewarned. If they warn you before time, they are arming you. The gospel is blind. The devil has made sure that his heart is blind, his eyes are blind. So one of the methods he uses in isolating people is to blind them. It gives them spiritual blindness. Now we're not talking about seeing vision. But the, the, the light of the gospel. Some people's eyes are blind towards the light of the gospel. They don't see it. When your pastor is preaching, you are seeing, I bet pray that your message, make you come lay hands on us. Make you come go. Come to deliverance. It is. Deliverance is in the gospel, or you are not receiving the right gospel. If all you come here for is for them to lay hands on you, to only you must sleep with another woman, another man, you are not normal. You see, this church, those days I used to pray, we just started, I used to pray on only. Pray on bless only pray. So that Sunday I prayed on only for people. So my hands were, I, I've not washed my hands. One sister just came. And he carried my hand and put her face. This is the only prayer. And he walked, walked, walked. And as I was looking at her, you know, I'm a prophet, I can see it. She's just doing it so that men will come after her because she, she does an um, advanced procedure called Ross. And you know me, at the next Sunday, I didn't prepare my message in line with her, but I talked about it and I said, from there, we will not see this type of church. It is better you don't come here and come here and, and go to hell. It is better you are here and go to heaven than to come here and go to hell. So what you want this anointing for? You want to mix it. Ah, you know, Jesus was tempted of the devil. And Jesus said, and he said, if you be the son of God, if thou be the son of God, turn this stone into prayer. And he says, can man live by prayer? Let me tell you how they used to turn stone into bread. Can I talk? See, when you get born again, the things you like don't die. If you like smoking, it is your spirit that got born again. The flesh is against the spirit. Am I making sense? Yes, sir. So you will be tempted with smoking. The temptation of your life will be in line of smoking. If you like women, before you go born again, just know that every area, every temptation will come in the area of women. You cannot stop it all. It is God that will help you out growth. If you try to do it by yourself, you will fall in the mud. We are not saying that you might not make mistakes on this way when you are. Uh, it's a process. You come up from bottom to bottom. You know they clean the they, you they scrub your body well. If you just do like that, you go to the bottom, right? So it's a process of cleansing. So you might fall into it and come out, right? I'm not saying this to encourage you. You know, people have they can hold on to something as well. Pastor Doctor can say, yes, I go fall into Roman bed and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm coming out of sin. As you are trying to say that you are entering it more, it will soak you. 
Hello? So now, you are gradually living sin. But you always feel that all oh, you're sleeping with a man or a woman. So, the stone the devil will give you is to give you pornography. So that you can be watching pornography. After all, I did not sleep with any woman. So he begins to tie you the more. It's an isolation method. The gospel, if you are blinded to the gospel, you are already being isolated by the devil. Oh God. Is so, you understand? Is so, you understand? Some people, before they knew God, they like lies. Lies will not easily go. Oh, yeah. You know, some of you who have done, who do they do elect, elect here, electric, electrical electronics? Do they do it here? You know, in the university, once you're on your 300 level, you now have specialization. So we choose power. Why so we choose the electrical part of it, that the electronics? These power people, they can wire houses, they can install transformer, but the other ones, they can repair computer, the TV, and all the rest of them. Now, if, if fornication or you have a large appetite for sexual immoralities, is what you like before you go born again. That will be the area of your temptation. Some of you here, you are here, you like club. Club is the area of your temptation. Some of you will be doing birthday. I'll be wondering if it's a Christian that is doing birthday or a pet, not a, a prostitute. You will see they will wear nika, the nika will tear like this for her. Tear like water. They, then this side will not have one big patch. That your smelly black, whatever that you are carrying, you will not be showing it to the public. And tomorrow, you, oh, shaka, maka. No, no, you are not shaka, but no. The Holy Spirit is not in that tongues. You are, you are making a noise, you are a gong. Discipline yourself, ask God to help you. As I am, temptation to come. But I say, Holy Spirit, help me. In my prayer point, my first 10 minutes of prayer, help me. Father, help me. Because no man calls unto God for help and God neglects them. This thing you have been doing, sit down, sit down. This wrongs, prostitution, not wrongs. Let me let me make it clear. This thing that you have been doing, sit down. Ask yourself, what have I achieved? What have I what achieved? Can you give me that to you? What have I achieved? This thing that I'm doing. Since the past four years, I became mature. I've been doing wrongs. What, what have I gotten? To pay house rent is a problem. You cannot pay house rent with house rent in a wash. How much is house rent? Self contained, 70,000. You cannot, year to year, you cannot pay house rent with the prostitution. Would you end it? Would you end it? End it. Follow Jesus. The devil wants to get you in the mud more and more. See, now when you say you want to stop it, that is when the men will come. Very enticing. If they used to take 2,000 before, they will come with 18,000 or 20,000. That's how the devil is. Oh, yeah. Do I have time? I don't have time. I'm just 30 minutes. Should I continue? Don't be more say we will do deliverance. Is that not so? You can be in church, yet you are lost. The devil can isolate you with the gospel that is suitable for your ears. They are gospel that you want to be suitable to your ears. Bible say in these last days that you will not, people will not be able to endure sound doctrine. It will be difficult to serve God. You will not be able to endure sound doctrine. They will have each ears. In this church, I don't preach to you what, what is suitable to your ears. I preach to you what the Spirit of God has sent me to do. Next to that, another means it can isolate you is your mind. I want to rush it. Your mind. Your mind. Don't, don't allow the devil confuse you with carnality. The devil speaks so the way God speaks. That's how the devil speaks. And his voice are in carnality. Offense is a tool in which the devil speaks with you. That pastor offend me. You carry him for mind. The pastor will not even remember if they offend you. 
you carry out for mine. The pastor they live in. You know, have you seen something before? You know, say if you invest for somebody, hello. If you invest for somebody, you know, say that time when you tell invest for the person, now the person they shine more. Hello. Oh, more than talk through. If this is that invest for this is that now, you are now that time that sister they shine more. That is that will shine more so that he will be prepare you more. That's the devil. What the devil is doing, he wants to make the hatred grow. If somebody offends you, the best is to tell the person, not confront. There's a difference between confrontation and telling. What you did to me, I don't like it. Please, I wouldn't entertain it this time. So the hair, I must tell her today. I must tell her today. When I tell her, praise the Lord. That's confrontation. Hello, your mind. See, the Bible says to be carnally minded is dead. Some of us, our mind is soaked with carnality. Carnality. Some of us are here just because maybe the pastor declared the word, the word will come to pass. So that's the reason why you are here. You are not supposed to be here because of those things. You are supposed to be here because of your genuine love for God. That's why you are here. Look at grasses everywhere. You are not bothered. That's why you will come to church late. You are not bothered. These things don't move you. Carnality has taken over your life. Another thing that the devil can use to isolate you is money. Money. Ah. Ah. Money. Money. You see that sister that they were praying for her. And the power in her spoke. See, I make her that she don't get money so she don't go become church. The day I don't have money, that's the day I'll be more ready to come to church because I know that the devil wants to steal from me. I told you I used to trek. I think Pastor Emma said it too. He said, as though maybe I talk stories since me and him used to trek. Who used to trek? We were pastor in Christ never see Agaro together. He's the one branch of the home. Who we trek? Who we trek? We suit. We suit. Do you know how frustrating it can be trekking with suit? Hey. As you open your clothes with the heat when they come out from the suit, the shirt where you wear inside does so. That's why I learned how to wear polo inside shirt. So the polo will suit with trekking. Trek. Trek home. Don't allow money to deter you from your service to God. So what is keeping them away from their place of grace is also hustling for money. Hello. Lack of money and hustling for money. People don't want to separate their times. There's time for everything. Don't know how to separate your time. When it's time for church, you'll be looking at your business. Therefore, I never know them. If church is four o'clock, you've not sold anything since morning. 3.30 come and see customers. Customers will be coming. You will say, oh, praise God now. Wow, you see how smart they are going to come. Hey, come. It's not God you are praising. No, the devil have isolated you. Hello. I don't know if I can. You know the Apple to now? I used to have a laundry there those days before, like, before I left for okay. I was a pastor. When I say it's our service, once it's 2.30, no matter how you do your business, how you carry your clothes, come. I will lock my shop, say tomorrow morning come and take it. Because I've been able to discipline my mind to know, to discern when it's God. Not with every testimony be God. Oh. Hello. Hello. Somebody deceive white woman. White woman selling house. These streets give you money. You they drive the motor, say glory to God. Glory to Jesus or not to Mary. Jesus is not in that place. Jesus is not there. Hello. Jesus is not there. Jesus cannot spend another man's joy for your own joy. He cannot do that. Why do say the end is the Lord and the fullness is the Lord? It means that He has so much to give to you, give to you, give to you, give to you, and make you. I will tell you the truth, I will not deceive you. You come here and give the strong testimonies. You are only making the church look very powerful. Things are happening. I know when I get to, I know this is of the money out there. God, do it. Not that that's what you're just doing. Are we not bound to the mount of God? Can we stand up?
Bye.